Yo, what's going on homies? It's your boy Stumped back for another OPTC video and in today's video we're diving into the New World treasure map for the CP05 Plus against S-Shark and the CP0 themselves with the buildable team for you guys to help take down the New World and all the shenanigans that come with this good old treasure map time. So, diving into the first time with the buildable teams, hopefully we can get this done. Uh, I have just come off the back of recording my... Um, playthrough for my uh, teams, and look, this treasure map does seem to be a bit of an interesting one, mainly because there's a, there's a bunch of shenanigans that you have to deal with in terms of anti-heal, um, with the new Atlas removing the attack down if you have a particular type, or there's a whole bunch of shenanigans that you have to get around, and looking at some of these teams, I really hope what I put together actually works out for those final boss stages, but we're going to dive straight into the Zoro fight, unfortunately we didn't get the bird off rip, so hopefully we can get that, otherwise we're going to have to record again, which is not ideal, but we're going to be using double Arlong crew as our captains, with the 5 plus extract as they recommend, so that's the team, those supports, let's dive on in, now, utilizing Arlong crew as a captain is actually very, very nice, because you want to be below 70% HP for this particular fight. On top of that, they do a whole bunch of stuff with special reverse and all that annoying shenaniganry. But, um, okay, that didn't work. I say, but Arlong does have the ability to do damage with his super swap, which, as a captain, he actually gives himself six turns of super swap charge. So, hopefully, yeah, okay, it works on stage two, but not on stage one. So, you can just replace anyone uh, or use Whitebeard as a wave clearer on this particular team. That should work out pretty fine. Um, if you guys want to just make this a little bit faster. But on the final stage against Zoro, he gives your captains three turns of special reverse, your sailors one turn, um, depending on if you have a certain HP threshold. Then when you actually give yourself a special reverse, you are going to have to deal with an interrupt that gives you an 80% HP cut, as well as a uh, another special reverse, which the enemy will give you the, the lock for. So that's, again, why using Arlong Crew is actually ridiculously good for this. Now, ideally, you probably should have used Arlong Crew first. That would have given us... Um, that would have given us an attack boost and an orb boost, and you wouldn't have to do the double tap that you guys just saw there. But to get through the barrier, uh, we have the quick orb thanks to X-Drake, and we can just easily take out Zora. So again, if you have 5 plus X-Drake and the 6 plus of Arlong, it's going to make your life so much easier with this fight. Honestly, bring a friend captain if you don't have the 6 plus of Arlong. Um, but he was the latest 6 plus, and even with that level limit break, expansion, all of those very uh, end game stuff, he's still going to be the very best option for this particular fight. So let's hope we can get this bird here. I'm, I'm really hoping we get this bird. Is that a 3? 1, 2, 3. Okay, sweet. We got the bird. That's going to trigger the intrusion. And honestly, the intrusion fights got me a little bit worried. And the reason the intrusion fights got me a little bit worried is because. There is a very, very annoying debuff that turns healing into damage. And with the team build that we put forward, um, there is a very chunky HP cut. And hopefully we can be above the HP threshold that gets inflicted when we're on this particular stage. But there is a particular ship that is still boosted right now that you guys can actually get access to, which is the Laboon. Head over to the Rally's Bazaar. You can pick it up. It's a two times HP ship. It's going to be very, very handy for this particular fight. So, we are utilizing Nami Karina as our captain, and then we're going to be using a friend captain Atlas. Um, if you guys can't find a friend captain Atlas, then probably head to Grand Line, to be honest with you. And I don't mean that in a negative way. I just mean that New World can be just so frustrating that if you guys aren't getting Atlas friend captains, you probably don't want to be banging your head against a wall. So the team looks a little bit like this. That's the team. Where I didn't use any supports, purely for stat reasons. Slap on any stats you guys want. Um, that's just going to make it a lot easier for you. So we're just going to tap our way through the first two stages. And then on stage two, we're going to need to remove... Um, oh, did I stuff this up? I was meant to bring a support for blind, didn't I? Oh, no, no. So Kobe's actually um, great for this particular team because he can remove five turns of blind and he can remove... Five turns of despair, which we actually get inflicted with on stage two. So as you can see, with the Laboon, we have enough HP to do this. Kobe's actually going to heal us. Um, okay, not that much, so cool. Uh, <laughs> that actually worked out really, really nicely. And that way we can 
um, get rid of the Bind and the Despair. On this particular stage 2, we're probably going to want to get a little bit more damage output. So, let's utilize the X-Drake special. That's going to give us an attack buff. We're not going to need that for the final stage anyway. So, let's utilize that. With his double... Okay, you actually... Oh, that's right. You can't do damage. Hold up. So, let's try this again. We're going to use our Kobe special here. Kobe is going to give us... Uh, three turns of chain boosts, and then we can switch with Arlong. Arlong's going to give us a um, a base stat boost, and hopefully we can actually get the kill here. Like this might actually be tight. Tight with Arlong, he's not getting boosted. Should have done that earlier. All right, beautiful. There's plenty of damage there. Just make sure you switch with Arlong so that way you get the base stat boost. Um, the intrusion stage 2 shouldn't scale. I don't think the HP gets higher and higher from there. Um, if I'm wrong on that, let me know in the comment section below. But moving on to the final stage, you get a full board of block orbs. We get 6 turns of attack down, which Atlas is going to take care of. And the enemy has 6 turns of damage reduction, threshold, and defense up. Um, and this is where basically we're going to utilize our um, Nami Karina Super Swap. We're going to utilize our Atlas special. Atlas is going to override that 1.1 times orb boost that the enemy gives us, plus gives us an attack boost. And then we can use Nami and Karina, well, in the Karina form, to give ourselves another orb buff and remove the defense up and the threshold, which is super, super nice. Um, with that, we can then tap our way through. And remember, when you guys get access to the... Uh, 5 plus of CP0, just replace the, the 5 star with the 5 plus. With the threshold that Nami Karina gives, you can tank the 100k and the team works like an absolute gem. Love to see it. So that is the intrusion fight. For the buildable teams, honestly, I was sweating a little bit with that particular team build. I wasn't super confident in the actual build itself, um, but hey, managed to get it done fairly nicely. So let's make our way to the final boss now. Um, we're just going to keep it rolling because we're pretty much there. Um, and like I said, once you get the 5 plus of Luchi, you can easily bring in um, the 5 plus, And that way you can uh, take it down a little bit easier with a chain boundary. And what you can actually do is... Um, well, actually, you, yeah, no, you can't. I was going to say you can use it on turn 2, but... Um, I mean, you can use it on turn 2 if you really want to. We actually didn't use it at all. Because um, we had the chain boost. So if you guys are struggling there, you can easily use that chain locking ability. Um, but then a chain boundary. So that's going to be really, really nice. So let's move on to the next mini boss fights now. And let's take a look at Luffy. And for Luffy, we're utilizing double carrot and wanda. Now, carrot wanda are great. Because they are a 1.25 booster. But they can also bypass the defensive effects on the final stage. Now, once you guys have your two copies of CP0... You can easily bring CP0 across to this particular team, and that's going to work out very, very nicely. But for myself, I'm actually utilizing the special of Izo Kiku. So that way we can uh, get the carryover and the wave clear on stage two. And then we can utilize the Wonder and Carrot swap and special ability to basically just two tap our way through the final stage. So that's the team. There are no supports, and uh, let's dive on in. Unfortunately, I didn't have enough time to just sort of put on another wave clearer. So Jimbe and Big Mom are both completely replaceable on this particular team. I just wanted to include as many free-to-play characters as possible as other sub options for you guys. Um, you guys don't have to use Big Mom, you don't have to use Jimbe. You can use any other boosters that you guys may have access to. And if you guys have wave another wave clearing op option like Hody and um, Vanderdecken, you can definitely do that. But on stage two, you want to make sure that you use the Izo and Kiku um, special ability to wave clear and give yourself a three times chain lock. Because you need to be above a three times chain and below a 4.5. And then you need to get through a threshold. But if you super swap with Carrot Wanda, utilize the Carrot Wanda special, you're then going to have that chain lock ability. And literally, all you need to do after that is just two tap there. Because Carrot Wanda will allow themselves to bypass defensive effects. And um, you're pretty much off to the races. So, beautiful stuff there. Carrot Wanda, no issues whatsoever against Luffy fight. I'm using it myself. Um, Carrot Wanda as a sub with like a baby Nami Karina. So, if you guys want to get a few more drops there and you were lucky enough to have two copies of Nami Karina, that is, then um, you can definitely do something 
like that. As you can see, I'm using the five star of X Drake on this team as well. And it's a massive upside to keeping two copies of those particular units. I would highly recommend for all characters to get five pluses to keep a second copy for the boosted mana. As you can see, mine was like level one. You don't really need it and you're pretty much off, uh, good to go after that. So moving on to the next fight against Robin. The boosted characters are Garp and Kobe, but we're utilizing the OG5 plus Luffy. That's the team, those are the supports. Let's dive in. Now, something to note with this team, you do need to make sure that your Nami is level limit break five. So if you're a newer player, you would have this because you've joined the game um, a little bit later. But if you're an end game player and started playing before the level limit break of the free to play straw hats, make sure to pick up the copies from the PKA shop. We're utilizing the free to play Brook as our wave clearer. He's an exceptional wave clearer for pretty much every single treasure map because he allows you to get double special activation. He does fix damage and he can easily take out the first two stages. Now on the final stage, you get despaired and you get binded on your left column. But utilizing the combination of these Luffy captains, you should be able to remove the despair. Uh, okay. Yeah, no, I stuffed that up. That's a bit of a problem. The problem here is you get binded before the despair. So, unfortunately, we're not going to get rid of all the despair. So make sure to use a support that can get around two turns of despair. Um, that's definitely going to be needed. For now, I'm just going to see if we can burst our way through this um but like something like Rayleigh should work i imagine Rayleigh would be fine um let's see what we can do here uh yeah not too great we're just gonna stall. we'll stall. we'll stall out the despair for now something like Rayleigh will work absolutely fine on luffy i'm just trying to think of other despair removing supports um oh now we're gonna get a tack down that's great okay um yeah, basically anyone that's just going to remove two turns in despair. I think Jinbei's got um the support of what's it called? Um, the free to play. I don't know if Jinbei does damage actually. The free to play. Um, Opera. But yeah, it's, uh, that that bind first is actually very very annoying. But that's okay. We'll stall it out for now. And as mentioned, um, you do want to make sure that you chuck on a. Despair and Swap. Something else you guys can do is run Gear 5, the 6-star, as a friend captain. That'll definitely help out with um, removing the bind, and that way you don't even need to bring Nami. Uh, but for now, we should be absolutely fine. Now, when Robin, Robin dies, she does one times her attack as um, end-of-turn damage. So that's the big reason why I brought Jinbei on this team to sort of tank that. For now, we're going to use him just to actually tank in general. And then we can just sort of finish it off, this off with Luffy. So as I mentioned, just slap on um, V1 Rayleigh. Uh, I believe there's a rare recruit Sanji that goes on Luffy as well. He removes two turns of despair and paralysis. That's another. That's the other support I was trying to think of earlier. But as you can see there, besides that little mishap, the team works fine. Um, obviously, there are better options as well. Make sure to check out my speed teams if you guys want to see some faster ways of doing mini bosses. And if you're enjoying the content, make sure to belt the like button for me. Hit the subscribe button if you guys are new. Hit the bell notification so you don't miss out on any of the OPTC content. Moving on to the next mini boss now. This one was a doozy. So, taking on Lilith, if you can find a friend captain, Dofi and Sugar, it's going to make your life so much easier. Like, like so much easier. However, I built out the team in a way that doesn't actually need them. So, if you can find them, Perfect. It's going to make it quicker. It's going to make it faster. However, for the sake of the video, I'm actually not going to use a friend captain. Um, and I have taken that into consideration with the Sanji and Luffy support. So that's the team. Those spots. Let's dive on in. You can use any Luffy at all, by the way. It, it doesn't have to be that Luffy. You can use any Luffy that you would like. And um, that's going to work very hunky-dory for you. But he's going to remove two turns of barriers with um, the Sanji. Um, Dofi is going to be your attack and orb booster. The other one's going to be a base stat and a chain boost. If you're using the friend captain, Dofi Sugar, that's your color affinity booster. And you're pretty much off to the races. Now with this team, I didn't include any wave clearers because I wanted to make it work without needing the friend captain. So you are going to have to tap um, a little bit. But at the end of the day, these are the buildable teams. We're not really here for like the super speed. Um, but I guess like Shiryu probably could be replaced with like Vista, I guess. Um, I believe Vista is a boosted unit, and then you just find a way to bring some despair removing supports there. So to remove the despair, though, we're utilizing Robin. Did I bring? 
Okay, Robin should have, like, the Bardo support, but, um, it's okay, because Shiryu is actually going to remove the uh, Paralysis as well. We then have Moria to give us an Orb buff, but he's really here because he removes one turn of Barriers, and he removes Resilience. Then we can use Sanji to give us a Chain Boundary. We can then use Sanji again to remove the Barrier, and then we have our two Doflamingo specials. Now, remember, if you guys are using Dofi and Sugar... As a friend captain, you basically don't have to sit through the double special activation of uh, Sanji. Um, and I'm not even going to sit through the rest of that because we have so much damage already. But as you can see, like this team, it should work for a very long time. It just involves a lot of shenaniganry. And that was always going to be the case because they want you to use a very annoying and finicky batch for it anyway. So that, that's the team we put together anyway. Let's move on to S-Shark now as the final fight where we are utilizing Nami Karina as our captain once again. And we are bringing a friend, Captain Atlas. Now, for this particular build, we couldn't fit on x Drake, We couldn't fit on Arlong. One, because like they're so good for one of the other mini-bosses. And two, we really had to include a full Cerebral team. So that's the team. Those are the supports. Let's dive on in. Now, something to note is the free-to-play chopper is level limit break 5. So that's fairly important that you guys have Chopper at level limit break 5. Plus, we are using the Laboon ship to actually give us a bunch of special cooldown. That way, Chopper is going to start with his special ready to go, and you're in for a really good time. You do need the Cavendish support on um, Luchi as well. That's going to allow you to get above the 3.5 chain lock. So make sure you that that unit is limit break expanded as well. So that way, you can actually get access to the... 3.5 times chain lock with that sailor ability now we do need to get around please tell me i brought something for this oh, i did sweet Whew. the bark right unit you can use um cat viper as well on chopper that's going to work out pretty hunky dora too so we're going to utilize chopper on this stage here chopper is going to give us an overheal and he's also going to remove five turns of burn he gives us three turns of healing as end of turn healing as well um and then Kobe is going to remove the bind on our captains. To get around the damage reduction, we're going to switch with Nami Karina to give us three turns of base stats. And then we can use the Nami variation of the special to give us um, the damage reduction removal. Once we've done that, we can tap our way through here. If you want to, you can use the Jinbei special, but um, I don't really see it going to be too beneficial so what we're going to do is we're going to hit two perfects unfortunately that means we're going to take 60,000 damage but thanks to the laboon ship we have plenty of hp to tank that once laboon isn't boosted um look chopper might be pretty close to not having cooldowns but i really hope that chopper does um so we'll have to see how that goes but on the final stage we get um an attack down if you're below a 3.5 times chain lock the enemy has six tons of damage reduction and a 90 percent attack down with any type of orb so what you actually want to do here is utilize the Atlas special first. So that way you don't have to worry about overriding the orb boost that Atlas provides. You're going to take 25k from pain, so just be mindful of that. You can then utilize the super class of Atlas. That's going to give you a full board of strength orbs. And then finally, you can finish it off with the Luchi special. And that's going to give yourself a chain lock. We don't want to swap captains. Cavendish is going to give them the quick orb. And with that, we should be able to take out um, poor old S-Shark there. Now, you do get removed sound effects. So just be mindful of that. You will have to tap through um, no sound effects. But you'll be okay because the damage is actually pretty pretty significant. You don't have to hit perfects and stuff like that anyway. So as you can see, we're in for a really good time. But that's going to wrap up the biddable teams. Hopefully, you guys enjoyed this one. If you did, make sure to go down there, belt the like button for me, hit the subscribe button, do all that good stuff. Most importantly, whether you guys are in this beautiful world, please remember to enjoy the rest of your day. As always, homies, thank you all for watching, and I'll catch you all in the next one.